So here we have data on customers. One set of customers that received a coupon and then whether or not those customers purchase the product. We have 300 I believe yes 300 people in our data set and what we want to do is we want to graph the difference between those that received a coupon and whether or not they purchased and those that did not receive a coupon and whether or not they purchased and then construct a two proportion confidence interval for the difference of proportions so what we're going to start out by doing is we're going to sort the data based on whether or not they received a coupon or not so sort is under data so we're going to select sort and we are going to use received a coupon as the sorting variable and we're going to sort all columns and the storage location let's just put it in a new worksheet and then we're going to hit OK okay so now here's worksheet 2 and see the data has been sorted all the no received a coupon is at the top and then down here at the bottom we find all the people that did receive a coupon so what we're going to do is first we're going to take all the no's and we're going to copy them into a new column so scroll down until we find all the no's Oh, here we go. So these are all the no's. We're going to copy and then we're going to paste this into another column. Just call it, put it here. And we're going to call this column purchased without coupon. And then we're going to do the same thing for the yeses. We're going to go back down. So we find where the yes has started and then we're going to copy out the purchase column. Oop. Too far. Copy. Now we're going to put this in a new column and this will call purchased with coupon. Okay, so now if we want to graph this, we go to graph, um, if we want a pie chart, chart of unique values, we're going to select purchase without a coupon, uh, we're going to add labels, slice labels, we want the category name and the percent and we're going to have it draw a line so it's easy to read. And then we're going to select OK. And so we have one pie chart. We have our labels. No, 76.7%. Purchase without a coupon, only 23% purchased. And then we're going to do the same thing for purchased with a coupon. So graph pie chart. We're going to replace purchase without a coupon with purchased with a coupon. Uh, the labels should be set the same. Yes. And then OK. And this is our second graph. So purchase with a coupon, 36.7% said yes that they did purchase when they got the coupon. And then finally, we can calculate our confidence intervals. Two proportions, the samples are in its own column, sample one, select, sample two, select, options, we can change the confidence level if we need to, and then OK. 
And so this is our confidence interval. I hope that helped.